Hello, welcome to How to Play Stump, a game for two to four players. Now, I was recently at an antique shop, and antique shops make great places to buy some old board games. There's plenty there from estate sales and stuff that didn't sell, and it's just a real fun thing to do, real fun place to go. You can see all sorts of things, and uh, a lot of people might think antique shops have changed drastically, considering who today's old people are and what type of material they actually bought, but you know what? Board games are always there. So, here we have Stump, which I bought at the antique store. Now, I know some of you are saying, look, I can't afford to go to the antique store. Don't worry, there's a free way to play this game. It's pretty much a free game in a box. We have a 42-card deck with two wild cards, and the rest of the cards are labeled 1 through 40 with no repeats. There's a number line with two different symbols, greater than, less than, in the form of arrows. And so what we're going to do, we're going to deal five cards to each player, and then we're going to deal two cards up, and that's going to be where our numbers go. We're going to make sure they are in the proper orientation. So we need to be greater than five and less than the other card, 27, I believe. So our turns are going to consist of drawing a card at the start of the turn. And here we managed to forget that, I think. And so the second thing we could do is we must play a gap card. So we draw a card to start our turn. Then we are going to play a gap card if we have any. In this case, we have a 7 or 8. Those will work. So we play an 18. Or play the 23 as a gap card. Then we play 18 as our discard. The discard will then move the number ring. So we draw a card to start our turn. See what gap cards we have. Play our gap card. In this case, we're going to be playing a 9. And then we're going to play our... Um, movement cards, we're going to actually move the other number symbol to the 38. It's going to be right on top of that 38. And now it's uh, North's turn. North's going to draw a card, do the same thing over again. And essentially what we're trying to do is we're trying to shed our cards, uh, put the squeeze on our opponent, and ultimately uh, be the first player to shed all their cards, and that will then go to the scoring phase. So, start the game again, draw our card, Play our gap card, then play our number line card. North will draw a card, and they will play a card. And then do their discard. South will go, and they'll see if we have any gap cards we can play. And this just continues on like that. play a gap card, then the uh, number line. So now we've come to the end of the game, or end of the round, excuse me. So we're going to get one point for every card left in hand. In this case, North's going to get five points for the win and one point for the card left in hand, so there's six points total. We will leave the number line where it is, deal five cards. We will not deal the two cards as we did in the opening round. That's only for the opening of the game, so we start the game off. We play a gap card, then play a number line card, and we basically do the same thing over again. And I don't think I've managed to uh, draw a card before making that turn. So now, we continue on. We do not have a gap card to play. And so now that's one. We will have five plus the four, so we should have nine points there. Now, proxying this game is pretty easy if you own any of these three games or just any numbered deck where you can get 1 through 40, you've got this game. If you have two additional cards that can be used as wild cards, it's perfect. So the mine, Oanami, and the game, all of these work because they're numbered cards. I would use a penny and a dime because the faces will tell you which way to go on the number line. And draw your own uh, homemade number line out and you pretty much own this game. So if you want to play something like this out in public against strangers, otherwise known as friends that you haven't yet met, come to our subreddit card game meetups. Once there, post your city, post what games you know, what games you want to play, and where you want to try this at. You'll see uh, in the description, it will have a show more. Go ahead and click there. You will see links to other video channels that enjoy, as well as written instructions, music, and a link to a Discord channel where we talk about card games all day, every day. Really fun place. We even have one just for solitaires. 
So call up all your friends and let them know. Say, hey, let's play some card games. And they might say, eh, okay, I'll think about it. Another one might say, yeah, sure. So once that happens, uh, do uh, like, subscribe, and share these videos with your friends that you know love playing card games. And I want to thank Sage Musician Maha uh, FX for their excellent music. And I will see you next video.